Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to do a yarn review on Premier's Spun Colors yarn. Okay, let's go ahead and grab one and we'll read about it first. Okay, it's made by Premier Yarns and it's called Spun Colors. Now there are 419 yards or 384 meters, 7 ounces, 200 grams per cake. It's 65% acrylic and 35 fine superwash merino. Now it is classified as a medium weight number four. Knitting needle size would be a five millimeter and recommended crochet hook size is a five millimeter. It is a hand wash and lay flat to dry and that would probably have to do with the merino that's in it. Let's see, and it is made in Turkey. Now the color that I have in my hands, it's called Rustic. Now, um, I did an unboxing of this, and I'll put a link to that on the screen right now if you want to look at that, in case you missed it. Now, when I first stop and I look at it, it is a very, very gorgeous color. The colors are well put together in the ones that I purchased. I purchased four different colors and I like all of them. They're all very, very well put together. It is soft, even though it does have the merino in it. It's not at all itchy. I was not, I would not hesitate to make a scarf out of it, you know, wear any, you know, anything like that out of it. It's very squishy, like I said. You can look at it and tell that it does have merino in it by the looks of it. It's just a bit though. Now it is a roving type of yarn. So I got one here that I used. If you look at it, you can tell that it's a roving type of yarn. The plies are all solidly spun together. They're not separate. That's like what a roving yarn is. Now roving is notorious for going from thick to thin. So this yarn does that. I don't have a problem with it. Roving type of yarns are my favorite. So there are spots that it's four weight and then you'll go and you'll find spots that it drops down to a three weight. And that's normal. That's just the way a roving yarn works. And there's nothing wrong with that. But this is what it looks like. It's very beautiful. Now the colors are very short and um, I wanna say, Sporadic. There's really no rhyme or reason to them. Now, I generally don't like yarns that are the color it isn't consistent in them. But I did make this cowl right here with this color right here is called uh, Poppy. Now, I do have a tutorial for this cowl, and I'll put a link to that on the screen also right now and in the description box. But as you can see, this is how the collars, let me flip up my the hood of the cow. This is how the collars kind of turn out. They're, it's very busy. And like I said, normally I'm not attracted to busy yarns, but this one is just something about it. I really like it, I do. When I first started this cow, and um, you know, I was only about six inches into it, I'm like, I don't know about this yarn. I mean, it's really, really busy. There's no rhyme or reason to it. But then once I, I got it finished and I put it together, I think it made a super unique design. And, you know, normally I would not be attracted to this, but for some reason, I don't know. The colors are just so well put together. It's, it's a really gorgeous yarn. I mean, I couldn't really say anything bad about it. Now, if the color, the way it crochets, you know, how it's so sporadic with the colors bother you, it may not be for you. Because, you know, they're all going to be like that. But I like it. And um, I do. I do like it a lot. I think I think it made a very pretty, pretty piece. Very unique, too. So, that's that. Now, I'm going to do... I did a little crocheting with it. Actually, I did that cow. But um, I'll do a little bit more crocheting with it to show you. Now, that recommended hook size is a 5 millimeter. I got a 6 in my hand. Because that's what I use with my project but it crochets just fine just like a normal roving yarn would but I was just going to do a little bit of crocheting with it on camera so you can see how 
it does. And you can see it's starting to get a little thin here, but that's normal. But it crochets just fine. It's unique. Look how unique that looks. It's, it's really... I mean, even if you got the same skeins, each it's just they're going to be unique. The colors are going to be different. It's it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Now, as far as the way it comes undone, it being a roving yarn, it might hang up on itself a little bit. Sometimes they do that, but I don't think it would be anything that's going to be troublesome for you to get out. It seems to be coming out pretty well, though. So if you make a mistake, I don't think you're going to have too much trouble getting... Yeah, it's coming all the way out to the end. Look at that. Can we do it? Can we do it to the end? Here it goes. All the way out. Yep. So it frogs rather well. So I'm going to show you the colors that I have right now. So I showed you the color, this one that I made the cowl in is called Poppy. And then I showed you this one was the rustic color. Very pretty too. And I made this cowl with less than one skein or one cake. So, and this one is called a gate, I guess. It's got a lot of pretty blues and grays and some tans in it. Very, very light browns. Very squishy. It's gorgeous yarn. And these three are all the same. Because I plan on making something a little bigger with them. This one is called Woodlands. Gorgeous. This was probably uh, my favorite by looking at the pictures on their site. Look at that. It's got gold, orange, blue, green, brown. It's pretty much rust, reds, all kinds of colors in it. It's absolutely gorgeous yarn so I really can't say anything bad about it I really I really can't the only downfall I would think would be for some people would be maybe the hand wash to lay flat to dry because a lot of you know some people don't have time for that that part does not bother me at all so that's not anything that would concern me and like I said when I first started crocheting with this I'm like I don't like I don't like the colors it's too busy but when I finish my project I'm like I love it it's super cool and unique so I really like the way the colors come out on it too it's very surprising to me because usually I'm not attracted to yarns that do that but this this one's got me it's got me in its grip it's an awesome yarn premiere it's super beautiful it's super gorgeous so why don't we go over the price real quick Okay, now they are available in 12 different colors as of right now on PremierYarns.com. That's where I purchased mine. All are very beautiful. To be honest, I had an extremely hard time picking out the colors that I wanted. But I am kind of an earth tone person, so naturally I went towards uh, these colors, I guess. Um, they run $7.99 a cake, regular priced. I think... That the yarn is gorgeous. I think they did an excellent job. And even though the yarn turns up really busy. It still turns a beautiful, beautiful crochet project in my opinion. It's very soft. Especially considering it's got the wool in it. Um, it's a roving yarn which is my favorite. Very saturated colors. Fiber content is nice. I think it's worth $7.99 in my opinion. I mean... I wouldn't hesitate to pay $7.99 for it. Of course, I always do look for <laughs> for sales when I buy yarn. But if I really wanted it and it wasn't on sale, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, I would just buy it for $7.99. It wouldn't bother me. It's beautiful yarn. Um, I'm very happy with it. Now, I do want to say that I am not affiliated with Premier Yarns at all. I bought all this myself. Um, I, and I do not have affiliated links to where if you buy yarn... I make money. I don't have that. I don't care if you buy it. I just give my honest opinion on yarns and then you can go from there. Some people like to hear my opinions. But always remember my opinions can be different from yours and that's fine. You know that's what makes the world go around. So that's 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 my review. 
I think it's worth $7.99. I think it's a very gorgeous yarn. All the colors that I have are extremely beautiful. The ones on the website that I don't have look to be extremely beautiful. I don't have them physically here. I only have the four. But um, all were pretty. This one that I did work with, I made this cow with less than one cake. Very easy to work with. It turned out very unique and very beautiful. Remember, I said I do have a tutorial for this. I'll put a link to that in the description box. But I am in love with the spun colors. I think it's one of Premier's nicer yarns, actually, that they put out in a while. I have to say, good job to Premier. So that's my review. Let me know in the comments what you think. And let me know if you've tried it yet. Tell me what you made out of it. Tell me what you thought about it. I'm always interested in hearing everybody's opinions. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Premier Spun Colors. Yes, I'm going to get some more. I love it. Bye-bye, everybody.